just turn that off there we go good morning guys hello and welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new vlog i have just pulled up outside of barton square arcade no is it arcade or is it just barton square have i just completely made that up trafford center and it's the section which has the big prime market and there's big home sense as well but I did go to home since my last vlog, so we'll see if I get a chance to have a look in there. Um, I want to go to Primark. It's been a while, but I'm after some summery dresses. I've got this one today on from M&S, which is lovely. But I really want just some dresses that, like, essentially don't touch your skin. They don't feel like you're wearing anything. And they're even just for around the house when it's this hot. It's not even 11am yet and it's already 29 degrees. It's too hot for the UK in my opinion. I've got another four months of this. Come on, we can do this. I love the sun guys. I am not ungrateful for that. It's the heat I struggle with. Um, so anyway, yeah, for pottering around the house and doing bits and bobs, like the last couple of days I've been doing quite a bit, but it's been that hot that I literally can't wear anything other than one dress I've got, which is just like a strappy, I think it's from Abercrombie, strappy, floaty, loose, like it's kind of square necks, straps and then it's just floaty and it's short as well i've got some floatier ones that are long but i'm looking for shorter ones <sighs> but also that dress is in black as well so i want white i want light airy floaty that's what i'm on the hunt for today so i thought i'd pop into primark just for some cheapies and hopefully we'll um find some good bits i'll show you around see what's new in primark and then when i get back i want to show you a bit of an update from my previous vlog where i kind of left off to show you where i'm at with the kitchen I that's what i was doing yesterday i was rearranging the entire kitchen drawers so that everything kind of is in there what will probably be forever homes who knows might have a switch up at some point but for now anyway i'm pretty happy with the placements of everything in the cupboards so i'll show you that when i get back as well what else have i got to update you on not a lot really since i've turned that aircon off it's already getting a bit a little bit hot um so i think yeah without further ado let's head on in let's go see what's new in primark hot claw clip is about all i can manage with my hair in this heat i dry well i kind of like quickly dried it with the hair dryer not properly though it's still damp i just thought there's no point in styling my hair because honestly when it's this hot even if it's freshly washed hair there's no point adding extra heat to it because it's going straight back on top of my head so my hairdresser taught me a little trick about how to use a claw clip like this with long thick hair and you kind of twist it put it in like you like anyone else would but then because it's quite long you kind of wrap it round and back on itself 
So, yeah. Looks a bit funky from one side, but it's essentially stays which is the main thing because ordinarily this clip this is from primark as well actually it's like a pearlescent clip i got a while back um ordinarily a clip this this sort of shape just won't hold my hair but now it will right hot i'm actually going to I think go via Starbucks drive through. They've got like this new blue drink which I saw last time I went in and I thought, shall I try it? I don't know if it's a bit like E number. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Let's have a look. What's it called? I need something refreshing. Maybe a cool lime refresher. <gash> First one of the year. Oh, they do strawberry assay. Yes, I remember getting that last year. Do you know, I feel like I might just get a cool lime refresher. You just can't beat it. Let's go grab a drink. Let's get back home. And then I'll show you the bits I got from Primark. Right. What did I say? The brief was a short, white, strappy, loose dress. First thing I saw in store, that. I was like, perfect. Got it. And then I saw another one. And another one. And another one. So I've actually got a few to try. Hi, what can I get for you? Hi, can I please get a uh, medium cool lime refresher? Medium cool lemon fresh, yeah. Is that with lemonade? Yeah, please. Then you can ask for it. That's it, thank you. Just drive around, thanks. Thanks. Is that with lemonade? I've never had it with lemonade before. This is going to be a game changer. <laughs> Quick taste test before I get on the road and probably down it all and finish it. Cool eye refresher with lemonade. Zesty. Is that different? There's a hint of, I was expecting it to be like Sprite, like fizzy lemonade. It's more like a, you know how you get a cloudy lemonade? It's more like that. She's confused me when she said with lemonade, because that tastes like a cool and refresher, like normal to me. But yeah delicious nonetheless if you like zesty zingy citrusy and you've never tried one of these it's the drink of the summer it's the psl to the it's this hang on a second. <laughs> the cool lime refresher to summer is what the psl is to autumn get what i'm trying to say it's delicious So we'll give this to Mr. Barney Boo first because Mr. Barney Boo had an accident, didn't you? He scratched his leg when you were swimming. So Mummy's got you a toy. Oh. And I've got your treat, but I'm gonna freeze it first so that you can keep nice and cool in this weather. He's not very playful at the minute. You don't want it. Oh Mr. Hop along over there. I think you prefer a frozen treat right now, wouldn't you? Won't really let me touch it, but right there, he basically somehow, when he was like jumping out the water um, on our walk, just sort of jumped onto a rock or onto something that's clearly banged his leg. And it kind of, it was like a little puncture wound. So just keep cleaning it, hoping for the best, hoping it doesn't get infected, just keep an eye on it. Make sure he doesn't lick it. But I think he must have like bruised it or bruised the bone or something because as the day's gone on, his leg, like, cause he did it yesterday morning. So throughout all of yesterday, his leg seemed to get really stiff and he wasn't really like, he was struggling to lie down or to get up once he'd been lying down. So this is all he does, he just stands here, head down, panting. We've got his cool mat out. He's not interested in his toy. <laughs> Brilliant. Seven pound well spent. Also just popped in to do Aldi on route home. Got myself a salad for my lunch. And this is what I thought I would get for him. So I've got some Greek yogurt, some no added palm oil peanut butter. That is a fair tub. I'll give him a spoonful of that now. But I'm going to mix a bit of this on a licky mat, some of that, 
some of this. We've got some bananas that need using up, so I might pop a banana on there. And some of these frozen berries and just pop it in the freezer for a bit. Let it get nice and chilled and then just give him that to, I to leave these in time. Keep buying these. And, every, and I think I'll buy them for the car. And every time I bring them in and they never end up in the car, they end up in a drawer in here or something. Take them out to my car. Um, but yeah, that's my little Alden haul. Um, I'll show you the Primark bits down here actually because I think the painter and decorator's upstairs. And also, ignore these shelves. I've just started bringing a couple of bits up. By no means this is the final styled result. This is literally just, as I've been brought, bringing things up, just putting them on a shelf. But then I wanna see everything that I have got. I have a good shimmy, good styling session, which I feel like I'm gonna do in a full video for you guys because I like to get your opinion on stuff as well. Um, let me pop these bits in the fridge and then I'll get a little angle going whereby we can show you these Primark bits. Oh yeah, you prefer that over a toy, don't you? Oh my god, the drool! <laughs> the drool! Is that yummy? I don't know if you can see. He rarely drools, but when it's something like this... <laughs> oh yeah. I appreciate that any non-dog lovers, or even a few dog lovers, I'm not gonna lie, are gonna look at this and go, ew. Get that off my screen. Okay, first bag. Let's dive on in, shall we, and show you what I've got from Primark. So this is actually just one item. She bagged it separately for me because it is a delicate. It is a plant pot. And I've seen this before and I kept on saying to myself, just wait. Wait until it's time to start buying these things. And because by then, who knows, you might be off green. Definitely not off green. So I decided to get it and it's this beautiful plant pot that definitely, in my opinion, doesn't look like it's from Primark. It's got this gorgeous design on it. I think this would look lovely inside, outside. £4.50. It's not got like a drainage hole. So whether or not you put like a faux plant in here or just have it as a decorative ornament alone, like stood by itself. But yeah, I think £4.50. I think it's blooming lovely. I also got these for a bit of a garden fun with a Barney. These massive bubble bubble ones bubble ones at one pound fifty when he's feeling a bit more up to fun bless him and then i also stocked up on some hair accessories some essentials i loved the these two in particular i don't know if i'll use this big black one but the clear one i know i'll love and i thought that was a good little mini size for if i just like sometimes i just clip back the front bits and just do a clip in the back so my hair's down, but it's just off my face. And yeah, I love tortoiseshell, so I got them. And then I thought these would be perfect, these little mini bubbles for, sometimes again in the heat, the warmer months, what I'll do is I will, to avoid putting more heat onto my hair, when like I said, most of the time it's up off my face anyway, after I've washed it, when it's kind of like 80% dry, I will plait it, two, one, however many plaits, and either just keep it in plaits until it next needs a wash or take it out the next day and it's like nice and wavy. So I thought they were perfect because at the minute I'm using my normal bobbles, which is just a bit big for the ends of your hair. So they're only a pound and they were three pound fifty. Again, sticking with the need for loose comfy items, pajamas are another one I've got. I've got short pajamas, which are like a t-shirt sh and shorts. But even that's a bit too hot and I'm just, I can't sleep in the nude. That's just, feel too exposed. And um, so I always like to wear PJs and I just thought little shorts and vests like these are just ideal really. So I go for a medium, which is 12 to 14. I'm usually like a UK 10. They had lots of these like separates as well, which is kind of annoying because I prefer a set, but 
Um, these shorts all looked super comfy, so I grabbed a few pairs. They're really affordable as well. So I got a grey pair. Again, loose, floaty, comfortable. These ones were £3.50. And then they're like a ribbed soft cotton. And then these ones are like a like a shirt material, really lightweight and thin. And again, in a medium, these ones, I got them £3.50. They were cute, very kind of like Victoria's Secret because they did have pink, pink and white striped ones as well, but I prefer blue. They have quite a lot of blue actually in store. I noticed that much better this year, I feel, versus last year when it was all like neon colors at summer. And I was just like, get me out of here. It was far more muted lots of blues so yeah happy about that and then last but not least this pair of shorts these are a similar kind of material to the blue ones like a shirt material nice and lightweight cotton and again three pound fifty and this one has like a tiny little bit of detailing striped and little dots i didn't realize i thought i picked up three tops i only picked up two but never mind can interchange them just very simple basic loose vests so three pound fifty for this one and again, this one is like ribbed, nice and floaty and comfortable. And then I got this vest as well. This one's got a bit of lace detailing on it. And again, it is ribbed. And again, I sized up for comfort. I almost went for a large actually in these ones. This one was four pounds. I did also pick up another pair of the one pound flip flops. I've been gravitating towards a pair of flip flops that I finally got rid of. They were my spa flip flops that I took to Eden Hall Spa with my mum on my little spa trip if you saw that vlog. So yeah, they were needing to be binned, let's just say, and they were a spa flip flop. These um, are just the good old basics, one pound. Oh, and then just before I show you the dresses that I got, I did also see these, and not obviously for this time of the year, but when I am just in my kind of usual outfit attire, which is leggings, a hoodie, cozy socks i thought these like athletic style socks are really nice so i just picked up them they're from the kappa brand so you've got like sage green and cream and then you've got the reverse and then just a plain cream pair too with a little bit of branding very simple these were £4.50. So let's talk dresses, the dresses that I got. So this one, first of all, this one's the, I would say the thinnest, definitely it's going to be like a nude underwear kind of dress, this one, not even white because you'd be able to see it. But for again, for around the house, nice and floaty, loose, comfortable. You can't just hear what it's going to look like. Um, nice short dress, legs out, it's just above the knees, it's not too short. Got a little frill detail on the sleeve here, but very simply tiered smock style dress, that one. And that one was £12, got it in a medium. This one I saw in blue, and I almost went for it in blue, but then I thought, no, you know what, just stick to white. White, I feel like, is the best colour to wear when it's so hot, because it just obviously doesn't retain any heat whatsoever. And this one, again, in a UK 12, I got it, and again, it's like a tiered mini dress strappy it's got a bit of sharing this one around the bust so i feel like a bit more supportive it's also in comparison a little bit creamier this one's like a stark white and that one's more cream can you see so i think i prefer this one that one was 14 pounds okay this was the dress that i saw when i first got in there and grabbed they had it in a beautiful red color as well like a kind of corally red which I nearly went for, but again, I just thought, no, stick to what you know, go with white, and also, I might not be keeping all of these, so the ones that I do like the style of, just stick with white. Watch me end up keeping all of these, because they're just so easy, but yeah, in a 12 again, again, sizing up for comfort, 18 pounds this one, and it's got a little bit of sharing on the back, just for the stretchability, and it's got, it's got adjustable straps, but it's also got a tie around the neck here so that you can have it kind of, you can cinch that bit in and then tie that around here just for an added bit of detail. Really pretty, like kind of linen-y fabric, this one. And it reminds me of one actually that I've seen on Abercrombie Fitch that I nearly bought. I was having a look on their website last night because they do some gorgeous dresses. That one, you know, 12 or 18 pounds. I did get one other thing, but the last white dress 
option is this one and again same old in a 12 so they have loads of sizes oh wow this one's above the 20 pound mark 22 pounds that's the thing when you pay an Abercrombie prices when there's a sale on and you can get like a discount they're not that far off this they're more like 30 pounds in the sale with a discount so it's got to be worth it for me to keep these if not I might as well go to Abercrombie but yeah this is this dress and it's got this embroidered detail I've just noticed that bit flapping down I feel like that's going to get annoying but I'll try it anyway it's also double layered so I feel like good for not being see-through. Last but not least, this is very much, I would only feel comfortable wearing this in the garden, pottering around the house. But I also feel like it's one that I will gravitate towards most. And it's a little play suit in a kind of, it's in a knit, but not, it's quite a thin lightweight knit, so it's not gonna be too warm. And it's cream and black striped with a tie waist. Again, just a simple play suit other than that. Strappy, deep, strappy uh, straps, <laughs> strappy straps, which are adjustable. Very short. This is why I feel like I'd only just wear this around the house. I, can you tell I don't do it with the heat? I am um, a wuss when it comes to this. I know I keep going on about it, but just heard on the radio when I was driving home, they said, because of the heat we've been having, we're looking at a month's worth of rain about to hit us. And a little part of me inside cheered. I'm not going to lie. Just a little part. Just a little part. Anyway, let me show you. Um, I said I was going to show you the kitchen. So let me just run you over. Run you over? <laughs> Sounds very morbid. Let me run you through roughly what we've done with the kitchen cupboards and how I've arranged things. And then I'll finally get round to having my salad. I'm gonna sit outside and have it, I think. Probably that's the most sun I'll get today. Okay, so these cupboards under here, for now, any kind of cooking books that I'm finding downstairs, I'm just gonna pop them in here. I might even stack them up in here um, and then just have like a few on display, but that's all that's in those cupboards for now. In here, we have this is kind of like towards the end of my organise. I had all these bits out and I just thought I just need a cupboard to throw them in. I'll sort through them soon. But it's essentially linens, canvas bags, table runners, napkins, um, like washing up cloths, sponges, dusters, that kind of thing. So that's just all in there for now. It's definitely not its final home. I feel like we can definitely better use this cupboard, but for now that's what that is. That's just the drinks fridge. We've got nothing up there because I can't really reach up there. And here we've got all of our kind of salad bowls, serverware, and that kind of like Pyrex dishes, Tupperware. I find it's easier, generally, I know I've not with that one, but Generally, it's easier to stack the actual dishes and then put the lids elsewhere. So that's the kind of method that I've gone with. Just a couple of spillover of uh, Le Creuset bits. And then on the very top shelf for now, I've just popped seasonal bits that I've come across. There's definitely a lot more. And because of the amount of space that we do have in these cupboards, I do feel like what I'm gonna do is bring all the kitchenware within the kitchen, even the seasonal bits, but just essentially keep them up the top out of the way and just get them out when the season comes about so i've got like a heart bowl in there for valentine's pumpkin bits and yeah so in here we have all of the crockery so we've got big plates small plates um and bowls like pasta bowls in there we've got like three mixing bowls so like three different sizes and then top shelf is empty. There's a couple of cereal bowls in there as well, but I only have two cereal bowls in this range that I got from HomeSense. I don't know whether to buy more. I might leave it at just two cereal bowls because you'll see in a minute, I've got other cereal bowls, but in different crockery. So anyway, that's that for now. And then in here, there's some more space, dishwasher. Nothing's changed in there. It's just a bin with some spare bin bags and recycling bags up there. Under the sink, again, not organized, but I've just been, uh, I've just popped all the cleaning products that I've been using for the kitchen space and everything in here for now. And then in this one, again, just a spillover of a few cloths that are like old that I'm using up and then I'll get rid of because I've got plenty of new ones. And some kitchen roll. Again, kitchen roll, that was brought up as a spare. We've already got another one in the pantry, which I'll show you in a second. Some dog treats and some sun cream as it's just been easy to grab them. Dishwasher. And then on this one, we've got kind of like a spillover of 
bits that I kind of came across, like miscellaneous things like measuring cups, salad servers, wooden egg cups, some like loaf tin liners, some placemats. So yeah, just a bit of a miscellaneous selection. And then in here, I'm gonna have all of our kind of like outdoor cups. These ones are like plastic essentially, so good for just using outdoors. And then like a Stanley Duke cup back there as well. In these bottom ones, we've got baking trays, we've got metal ones in here silicon ones and foil disposable ones in there above the ovens we've got all our glassware and then also up top we've got uh jugs i've got some more of these from dunelm that i just need to pop in there as well but these are going to be like our everyday kind of glassware i just really like them then in this cupboard it is literally just uh paperwork and kind of manuals for all of the appliances that we've got then on this side of the island we have let's start with this bottom drawer this is uh more crockery so like servers this little cake stand and then in here this is kind of like the miscellaneous section that i was saying again more crockery but that i've got some bowls this sort of shape i've got some primark ones there some zara ones just kind of a mismatch so i feel like i don't actually need more cereal bowls she says watch me go and buy some but yeah this is all more crockery i might pop those la cruze things that I showed you in that first cupboard in this drawer so that it's all within one section yeah I'm gonna do that okay then this top drawer is like our main cutlery drawer we've got out a new set of cutlery this is from Viners I think it's called I don't know if you can see the branding there you can see me hi <laughs> um but yeah really nice been loving them clips and like other wooden utensils bits and bobs these silicon ones might eventually have a sort through of these and probably don't need everything um see these were another pack of mints that were meant to end up in the car and ended up here but oh well and then this top drawer we've just got again definitely needs to organize this one but some cookie cutters seasonal bits so maybe i might pop those in that top section uh like kind of kitchen foil ziploc bags stuff like that knives so yeah i need to get some i think i'm gonna get some like wooden organizers for this drawer as well then in here we've got spillover and chopping boards and then in the bottom one we've got all of our stainless steel pans so then in here we've just got a few essentials that we might need for the island for when we're cooking like this little caddy from minky for like food waste tom's knives little trivet some spoon rests some things like graters and sieves so yeah that is everything in there so that's the kind of like kitchen section i'll show you in the pantry just quickly because it's definitely not organized i feel like the pantry is going to be its own separate organized pantry with me video when i find time to really thoroughly go through everything a bit like how, how i did yesterday even though i didn't film it with the kitchen of getting everything out on the island and starting to actually organize things i'll do that with the pantry but i'll show you what it's looking like for now so we've obviously still got lots of like the builders stuff that needs fitting there's a big fly in here that's annoying that's our kitchen roll holder that tom couldn't see it was here he said i couldn't find the kitchen roll anywhere so i've gone to open a new one brilliant step stool there which will eventually just be left out but obviously once this is all cleared so again in here we've just got basically these two cupboards are just full of bags of food that we've been kind of using but all of our food are in these cupboards essentially and then all of the teas and coffees and bits like that are in here and then i've put all of my mugs here I actually had no idea how many mugs I've got. Quite the collection. Of course, this one's my favorite. Love, this one's Matalan. I quite like the Hotel Chocolat ones as well. And we've obviously got the Le Creuse ones. My Neptune ones are another favorite. And yeah, I've kind of size categorized them, but anyway. And then all of our seasonal mugs, Christmassy mugs, pumpkins, and everything like that, I've popped on the top shelf, which again, I'll kind of get my step ladder out organize it a bit neater and push them back to the back so that yeah I'll sort that out and i want to pop all my teas in this little kind of wooden caddy type thing so that's how that's looking and then in here we've obviously got our air fryer toaster down here again just a couple more foodie bits make sure that fly doesn't go in the cupboard oh 
what did I just say? It's just gone in the cupboard. Get out. And then, yeah, some like medicine bits down there. Again, it won't be keeping there, but I, somewhere in the pantry these will probably go. Or maybe even downstairs in the utility. And then up here, I've just popped any kind of jars or things that I want to organise the pantry with and label up when I eventually get around to doing it. So we've got all of like the acacia wood lidded stuff here, some like scoops and stuff, little wooden trays, bread bins, there's a couple of other tins in there as well. Some labels that I've got, quite like this little like Lazy Susan, wooden lady, Lazy Susan, I might put sauces and things on that. And then, yeah, I've got a couple of bread baskets and stuff up there. Have we got anything in here? Yeah, a couple more again. Oh, I forgot I got these in here. So any kind of candles and reed diffusers that I want in this kitchen space slash, I'm gonna put that in the downstairs loo once it's finished. I thought I'd bring up here rather than having the utility because I know it's for this space. And then some more, again, jars, butter dish, this is my Zara tin, like bread tin. It's also got a smaller one in there. Little wooden recipe book stand. There's nothing in those end ones. Oh no, there is, there's a little coffee grinder. I'm gonna ask Tom if we need that. I don't think we'll need it anymore. Now that we've got the coffee machine. Uh, and nothing in that one. You will notice, I think I mentioned it in, within the renovation vlogs, the interior carcass of that is white. That's my bad, I ordered it wrong. Same with this top one. We needed to order a smaller size, a 300 wide, not a 400, because the 400 that I originally ordered didn't fit. So, I ordered the 300, they arrived, and I'd ordered a white carcass instead of the natural. But we were kind of rushed for time at that point, we said just fit it. It's not the end of the world. There's certainly many, many things that I've learned within this renovation vlog. I keep saying I'm gonna to have to do some kind of a lessons learnt type video because there's many things that I've got wrong. I've had to reorder. There's stuff that I still need to send back or at least ask the brands if I can send back because I don't know if it's gonna to be too late. It's been a fun journey and we're coming to the end of it now. Well, we were talking with builders this morning actually about the garden project and that in itself is like a whole task. I'm on the fence of whether or not to even start that yet because it would potentially mean the entire garden being disrupted for summer. And we've only just, I feel like, got this space to a point where we can start using it, start styling it, have the doors open, the dog come in and out. And if that garden is out of action, throughout summer and we can't use it, I'll be gutted. So that's why I'm thinking, do we just hold off for a couple of months? Just kind of work on plans of what we're gonna do instead and just take it easy and just actually enjoy the space for a bit. That's the other thing, we we're talking about a holiday, Tom and I, we're like, when the weather's this hot, it's quite nice and we've only just finished this house, it's quite nice to maybe just book a week to just enjoy our space and yeah, be grateful for what we already have right here on our doorstep. If he sees the rain forecast over the next month, I think it will change his mind. And to be honest with you, I do like, when it's this hot, being abroad so that you've got air con, you've got a swimming pool to jump into. So we'll see, we'll see. But yeah, it might end up being that we end up going away sort of September time this year instead. But anyway, that's my little update. That's my little shopping trip. I hope you enjoyed spending a few hours with me today. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.